Good evening and welcome to the March 7th Board of Directors meeting. We'll begin our meeting with the Pledge of Allegiance. Please state. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States, States of America. America. And to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Before we begin with the public input statement, um, I would suggest that we combine uh, five and three on our agenda because they're basically the same thing, but we will need a motion and a vote to do that. I'm so move it. Second. All in favor of, of putting uh, item five in with item three and combining? Okay. And now our public input statement will be read by our vice chair. The first public input session is a 21 minute session, having no longer than three minutes in which to make a statement. But a second public input session may be held at the end of the meeting if allowed by the board chair. Each speaker will give his or her name, address, and reason for speaking. Public input is designated for district residents, but the board chair may grant non-residents the opportunity to address the board. Statements concerning subject matter that falls under the law regarding executive sessions, for example, matters involving personnel cannot be made during public input. We as a community pledge to treat each other as we wish to be treated. We pledge to seek understanding when there may be disagreement. Regardless of outcomes or opinions, we pledge to move forward with respect. This is a time for comments and or questions for the board, but please be aware that some questions may not be able to be answered at this meeting. Thank you. Uh, public input at this time. No. Okay. Uh, then we will move on to the winter athletics update slash celebrations. So our assistant athletic director Alex is here, and he's going to lead the Everybody celebrations. Right here. All right. Thank you. Good evening. Please excuse my force of voice. Uh, I have a hot tea in uh, my future, that's for sure. <laughs> my name is Alex mccormick Kuman. I am the Assistant Athletic Director here for Noble. Uh, I want to thank you all for taking the time this evening to allow the Noble Athletic Department to present some of the amazing accolades that our winter teams have accrued this season. This was a historic year for some of our programs. To name a few, our boys basketball team making it the furthest in tournament play in school history. Our first ever student athlete receiving Gatorade Player of the Year honors. And our girls wrestling program, who not only won their inaugural state championship, but also brought home the first ever New England championship to our school. <laughs> the list could go on and on. Here tonight, we have multiple representatives from the following teams who have had incredible success this year, including our noble wrestling program, boys basketball, esports, competition cheer, and track and field. I'd like to turn over the podium to those coaches and their teams to speak on the successes that they've had this past season. First up, I would like Noble Wrestling and head coach Kevin Gray, please come on up. I don't know which way to address here. <laughs> All right, I like these uh, guys. So uh, my name is Kevin Gray. I'm the head wrestling coach here at Noble High School. Um, I'm here today to share you with some outstanding achievements of our high school wrestling team this year. Um, we had over 40 dedicated student athletes this year uh, participating in our wrestling program, um, and we continue to have longstanding success displaying commitment, skill, and sportsmanship throughout the season. Uh, I'm thrilled to announce that our team achieved remarkable success again. Um, we were Class A South Regional champs and runners up at the Class A State Meet. Uh, we also won um, our team dual state championship, and our girls team was, as Alex had said, the uh, inaugural Maine State Wrestling Championship. And then we also were thrilled to and be incredibly proud of our girls as they uh, they 
able to succeed and um, capture the New England Wrestling Championship as well, which is, as he said, the first in Noble High School history uh, for any sport. Um, I also wanted to talk about um, or read something that our uh, girls coach, Kaylee Boucher, who couldn't be here today, uh, she was a 2011 graduate and an outstanding performer on our wrestling team back then. Uh, she came back to help our girls program. And one of the things that we did as a coaching staff, which really tried to uh, lean into that girls program this year and really make it a team, not just look for one individual like we had had in previous years. Uh, we had numerous athletes who had no experience with some that had a lot of experience, which is really great to really form that that great team. Um, so Kaylee did provide some words that she wanted to say this year for this year to the the audience. So um, I'm going to read hers uh, verbatim here. So girls high school wrestling is one of the fastest growing sports in the country. There are currently 44 states that have sanctioned girls high school state championships. Maine joined that number in 2019, with 2024 being the first year the tournament crowned a team champion. Our global girls. We're also crowned the first ever team champions in the in the inaugural New England Championships as well. Let's continue to stay ahead of the curve and on top by creating the first standalone girls wrestling team at Noble High School in the state, and to continue to give these female student athletes the much desired and well earned opportunity to pursue the sport of wrestling at the high school level and beyond. So, in that, I think what she's really trying to convey is that it's time for the school to actually put aside and actually put a line item for a girls rest varsity wrestling coach, not just to be part of the overall team. Um, and that's hopeful something that we hope is uh, moves forward with athletic putting into their budgets and and moving on uh, as we move forward as a group. Uh, in conclusion, the recent high school's wrestling season has been a remarkable journey filled with triumphs and achievements. Our student athletes have exhibited special exceptional dedication, skill, and sportsmanship, and they've brought much pride and honor to our school and community. I extend my heartfelt gratitude to our coaches, our parents, and supporters of, and their unwavering encouragement and guidance throughout this incredible season. Um, thank you for your time and continued support of our wrestling program. Uh, it's been an immense pleasure serving these athletes and, and the school, so thank you. Bravo. Thank you very much, Kevin. Congratulations to those athletes as well. Next up, I'd like to welcome our boys basketball program, along with Coach Keenan Blindo. Our head coach for basketball was unable to be here today, so Keenan has humbly stepped in for him. <laughs> yeah, so uh, my name is Keenan Blindo. I'm the head football coach here at the high school. Um, I was able to work with co head coach John Morgan this year in a limited capacity. Me having two young kids at home, it's a lot to do two sports. So I was uh, with my limited coaching this year. Um, Noble basketball has come a long way. Um, as you guys know, for the last 30, 40 years, it's been um, not as successful as we had all hoped. So, you know, over the last three year progression since Coach Morgan has taken over, um, going from his first year not winning a game to then winning seven games year two to then winning um, 16 games this season. Um, this was a historic season in which we went 16 and five um, and we're runners up in the Class A South um, Conference. We had four athletes make first team um, and second team all conference um, in Class A South. Um, over the years, the team has matured exponentially mentally and physically. We have developed a culture in which all players are valued to compete at a high level during practice and games. We take a lot of pride in that. We're truly proud of what this team has accomplished during this historic season at Noble. We're looking forward to next year where we're returning nine juniors in which five of them had a starting role um, or a rotating role in this playoff run. Uh, these are two of our junior captains here. Both are on pace to reach a thousand points next year. And uh, the least I can say is the future is very bright for Noble basketball. So, <laughs> Thank you, Keenan, and again, congratulations. Next up, I'd like to call our eSports program down. Representing our team tonight is Ryan Hoopter. Mm -hmm. 
All right, hello, uh, my name is Ryan Hooker. I am the head, uh, head coach of the eSports program, and I am here to kind of further recognize um, our back-to-back -back Rocket League state champions, which is Connor Kellerman. You can raise your hand, Connor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Troy Godin. And Brooks uh, Freeland. a little more information about our program. We started in 2020 as kind of a way to get students back into the school during those kind of COVID times. Uh, we had about, you know, a single team with about seven players. And uh, fast forward to four years from now, we have won four state championships, three state runners up, two national bids, players getting multiple scholarship offers, 18 currently rostered players who are on five different teams. So there's a lot that's going on for eSports. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, we just kind of wanted to take another moment here to show appreciation to the board, to the school athletics, and the uh, community that is allowing these players to compete at the highest level of something that didn't exist five years ago. So thank you. I know that this is kind of spontaneous for you, coaching esports, and you've been a great coach. Oh, nice. Thank you. Thank you, Ryan. Next, I would like to call Shannon Davis and our competi competition cheerleaders down at the podium. Hello, everyone. I am Dalen Blander, and I am Tanisa Santoy. We were a part of the Noble cheerleading varsity team for the 23-24 season. As a team, we have faced a lot of challenges throughout the season, but we work together to overcome them. This season has proven that we are truly a family. Um, after we held SMAs at our school, we had a rough performance and ended up taking sixth place in the competition. We worked really, really hard the week between SMAs and regionals, and we ended up taking the South Regional title with a score of a 79. Our performance was strong at regionals, but we knew what we had to do in order to place well at states. We had an even stronger performance at the state championship with a score of 83.9 and ended up taking second place, making noble history. Uh -huh. As always, we want to give a big thanks to our coach Shannon. We wouldn't be here without her. Thank you, ladies, and congratulations once again. Finally, I would like to call Noble Track and Field and head coach Sarah Stoll down to the podium. All right. Um, so I am missing a few athletes who I'm going to give a shout out to tonight. Um, the reason I am missing them is because they are preparing for a competition this upcoming weekend. Um, we had tremendous amount of success um, on the track this winter. Um, we were a really small team, um, but we also saw some big results at the state meet. Um, we had podium finishers, including Adria Otash in 55 hurdles. Um, our SMR relay um, set a SMA record um, at our regional meet this year, meaning that is the fastest all time uh, time in SMA league history. Um, for those of you not familiar with track and field, the SMR is a relay that consists of a 200 meter, 200 meter, 400 meter to an 800 meter. 
um, and that team was uh, Trevor Beams and Geo Baker. Um, and then not here tonight, Calvin Leon, his mom's from the back, <laughs> and um, Maddox Jordan, also not here tonight. Um, also, a shout out to Natalia Rothwell, who is off at Musical Commitments. I have a lot of really involved track athletes. Um, she also podiumed at the state meet um, in high jump and went on to New England um, this past weekend in high jump as well. Um, also, big shout out um, to Maddox Jordan, um, who was our Gatorade Player of the Year for cross country, uh, which is a tremendous accomplishment for any athlete. Um, and we're really, really proud of that. He won three state titles at the state meet this year. He was state champ in the eight, uh, the mile, 800 meter, and then the two mile, all within one meet. Um, and to give you context, that triple has not been accomplished like that since 2010. Uh, by Will Gohegan, who now runs professionally for Nike and is at the Olympic level. Um, Maddox took home a New England title at New England this past weekend um, and is set to run at nationals this weekend, which is why I'm missing a few of them. Um, so Ryan Morin is going to be in our uh, in our nationals crew. He is race walking tomorrow morning. Um, I am meeting Ryan Moran at 7.30 tomorrow morning down in Boston, um, so I advised him to get some sleep tonight, and he is he's, he gives his waves. <laughs> um, and the SMR um, will also be competing down at Nationals tomorrow afternoon. They don't race till 4, so um, they get a little bit more sleep in time. Um, and then Maddox races in the 800 meter on Sunday, um, also down at Nationals. So, um we are expecting big things this weekend and really excited for what is to come in outdoor. Congratulations and best of luck this weekend. In closing, I want to thank the board. I want to thank our community for your time and support of the Noble Athletic Department. We have more athletes, more programs than ever before, and there is no doubt that this list of accolades will grow with each season. Your support contributes to the success of every program here at Noble. Again, thank you to the board. Thank you to the community and have a wonderful evening. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much. Very impressive. Uh, moving on to number four, employment. I'll just wait a minute. Yeah, let the guys go. <laughs> yeah. <That's the> wrong <laughs> uh, I joked about this very much. Try not to say it. Yes, I know. Um, yeah. 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 All right. Okay. I have a retirement for the end of the school year. Jane Gamage, which is English at Noble High School. Jane has taught for 40 years, 20 of which have been at Noble High School. So we do need a motion and approval for this retirement. We have a motion. motion. With regrets. Yeah, second. Awesome. Same thing. Yeah. Yeah. All in favor with regret? Mm -hmm. And now our last public input. There's a couple of things Mark will finish with. Uh, two meetings ago, it's probably because I haven't got my answer because I've been here for a couple of meetings. I asked Sue on um, many of the noble people kids were involved in building that school and you were supposed to get me i don't have an answer for you i'm sorry <laughs> i just i don't have an answer okay. i will try to get it for you okay yeah. and there's, a, there's a young gentleman that's still waiting for his books for auto body he hasn't received them yet 
and he was promised that he would get them. And I'd like to know when he's going to get them so he can, according to his, his mentor, he's doing a good job. Mm -hmm. And I'd like to get day, So the day after the um, that came up at a board meeting, the, the principal met with the student and I'll, I'll have him follow up again because I believe it was all set at that point in time, but we'll follow up. Yep, thank you. I guess I'll be a good boy and sit down and I'll be proud of tonight. <laughs> Other public input? Hey, good evening. Uh, Mark Bullard, North Brock. This uh, past few days, I ran into some more parents of pulling their children out of school. And um, they don't like what schools teach anymore. I know um, DEI, CRT, uh, UF, University of Florida, fired all the teachers and stuff they were forcing there. And what scares me about this movement is um, legislators are working on a bill, health bill, to um, allow somebody like myself, if I wanted to cross whatever, or anybody could cross the border, branch out to me and have their genitals mutilated, castrated. Um, they can do it without parents' consent. I don't feel aware of this. Um, or say a rapist raped the girl over state lines and brought a hit to me in late term abortion, hide the crime. This is scary. Does anybody condone this? I mean, gay people had a hard time just to be accepted in the community. And they worked hard to get accepted. Gay people have been around for getting a time. And we accepted them. Um, you know, the world's changing. But I think it's a big flip-flop. And um, it's be on the right side of things. You know, this is a true war against light and darkness. I mean, anybody that's passing laws or condone this type of behavior, um, I pity them. No soul. Thank you. Other public input? So at this point, we would adjourn uh, to move into our budget work workshop session. Uh, do Your we have on a that? motion we to adjourn? I'll make the motion to adjourn. It seems like I'm second. Making. Second. All in favor? Okay. Nancy, you made all the motions. Yes. <laughs> okay.